so have you girls ever watched like a toy hunt video? No. I no. haven't either. <laughs> oh. But but we're gonna we're gonna do a toy hunt. Oh. How did you so you don't know how they go? No. no. I don't I don't either. Oh. Um, I think that you film they, I, whenever I've, I've tried to watch a toy hunt video a couple of times. You do fail? How do you yeah, fail I watching a video? <laughs> <laughs> Don't, I get bored. So, I, when I watch, when I tried to watch the video, they, there's always like, they start off in the morning for some reason, and there's coffee involved, right? Oh, there's no coffee here. There's no coffee, it's not in the morning. I'm not a professional at this, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. You can apply that to everything in my life. Why does the videos have coffee? I don't know. It's like a vibe. I think the toy hunt video is a vibe. What vibe is it? Well, I think I think the whole goal of the opening of the, like it just doesn't start off in the toy shop and they're just like, oh look at all this cool stuff. That's not the video. Oh. The video is like there's an anticipation period and that's what we're filming now. Is oh. I'm doing that. I'm just not. I, there's no coffee involved. Oh. Why? I mean, I feel like there should be coffee involved. Why isn't there coffee? Because it's not the morning. It's it's like seven o'clock. Mm, does that mean no coffee? It means no coffee. Yeah, you guys, you, you're children, and you have to get to bed. Uh, and I can't give you coffee. Mm -hmm. But but this part of the video is important because if you don't have this part of the video, there's no antis. It's all about the anticipation. That's the toy hunt video, right? Where are we going? We're going to Burlington Coat Factory because one of my producer, my producer told me that he has found AEW action figures. Yeah. Dollies. Oh. <laughs> man dollies. Oh. Dolly man action figures. Oh. At, at Burlington Coat Factory at reduced better. prices. Oh. Why would and there I, be dolls that... They have a toy section in Burlington Coat Factory. I've known this for years because we oh. used to, you know, we'd shop there all the time for you girls when you were babies. We'd get you coats there. And mm -hmm. they had a toy section. And yeah. I like to buy you toys wherever you go. Okay. But now you don't want toys anymore, so I gotta buy them for myself because I have a problem. So it's your goal with this video. What are you looking to find? I'm looking to find views. <laughs> I'm looking to find YouTube views. I'm 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 hoping I guess I'm hoping to find what my producer found, which is a Jade Cargill. Who? He found a Jade Cargill for ten bucks. I don't want to pay twenty bucks. I'll pay ten bucks. How much are they normally? Twenty bucks. Wait, who's Jade again? Wait. I don't know Jade. Sorry, dude. I'm pretty Storm. sure. Storm. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Got it. So. She only knows Jade Cargill as Storm because she has white hair and. I mean, no, it is actually, for for copyright reasons, they can't just call her, you know, Storm, but she does come out, and there's lightning, and it's a storm, right? Yeah. Like, I think they're leaning into it. I mean, one time she straight up dressed as Storm, right? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not I kidding think so. about that. She did that. So she's not shy. She didn't shy away from it. I mean, I've told that story before. I mean, I may as well tell it again because, you know, this is an AEW video and hopefully AEW fans are watching it. So, Jade Cargill was originally going to dye her hair green, but first she went white, right? And when they did the white, they stopped right there and they said, no, you got to go white because you look like Storm. Like, you got to go with that. People are going to like that. She was like, all right. I mean, she did do green eventually. But they stopped on the white because of Storm from Marvel Comics. They were like, "Yeah, that's that's gonna that's gonna excite." Me. It's like your two interests combining. Yeah, yeah. For me, it's great. I mean, I love it when the wrestlers dress up like Marvel Comics heroes, and it happens all the time. It happens in AEW. We had Thunder Rosa do X twenty three. I'm gonna blank right now. It's a lot. It happens more in the WWE. We know Johnny Gargano. Uh, Johnny Wrestling, he, he did a Marvel Comics character like every single NXT TakeOver for like years. What about that Street Fighter one? Yeah, yeah, no, the Young Bucks did Street Fighter along with Kenny Omega. Uh, so yeah, they did Ken and Ryu and Akuma, which is really cool. There's been a lot of, um, but that's, that's not Marvel Comics. Yeah, but it's cool. It is cool. <laughs> that's cosplay in general. 
Cool. So what are you hoping? Oh, Brian oh Cage God. is doing Zangief right now. He dresses up as the, from Street Fighter. Well, that's Street Fighter oh, still. Oh, oh, I'm okay. still. I I got excited like that was a Marvel Comics character. Oh. I don't know why Street Fighter is like Marvel Comics for me. I don't know. You like them both. I do like them both. This is gonna be a really awful video if we just go to Burlington Coat Factory. There's nothing in the video. Rolled credits. Well, I wouldn't make a video. I, do you think I wouldn't? Do you think I wouldn't release that? Um, oh, I'm releasing this no matter what. I don't care if I find nothing. That's still going out. Am I supposed to say that? I don't know. What happens if you make a toy hunt video and you don't find any toys? You buy video. nothing. That'd be sad. Is that a, is that a thing? Maybe you could keep on going music? to different places and like find one no matter what. It, that, that's what they do, isn't it? That's why they start off early in the morning. Maybe I don't know. That's what the whole coffee thing is about, isn't it? I don't know. So they wake up early in the morning and they're because they're going to go to a bunch of. We're literally going to one place. Are we staying up till midnight? No, we're. I'm. I'm looking to end this trip by eight o'clock. I want to be back home at eight o'clock. We like the I toy mean, hunt. what you're supposed to do is find like a really rare toy. Yeah. And be like, I found this in the clearance section of Target and dreams can come true. And that's the, I think that's the video. I think I see like a gigantic dirt pile over there. Yeah, that's New Jersey, honey. Film the dirt pile. Oh, why? If you've never been to New Jersey, these dirt piles are, are very... It's um, barely visible right now. Okay, well, when you get a good shot of it, um, you got to really... I'll try. Because people don't know this, like... That's like a New Jersey landmark. When you go to New Jersey, most of the scenery is dirt piles. Thanks for making this look good. It's just what it is. They're kind of proud of it around here. They're oh. like, yeah, that's our oh. dirt piles. Well, We pile up dirt like nobody in New Jersey. And they'll stay for a long time, too. Mm -hmm. oh. They'll just pile up the dirt and they'll just leave it there for, for months, a year. They become part of the landscape. You see that a lot. And there's Burlington Coat Factory. Uh, right behind the dirt piles. All right. Okay, well, we bought some stuff. I'm sure you want to know what we bought and what it was like in there. Uh, Burlington Coat Factory, when you're looking around for toys, is a total disaster. The shelves are just in total disarray. It feels like a garage sale, like real garage sale vibes. You guys can feel free to bounce off me on this. My kids are back here, they were with me. And when we were looking around for stuff, my kids were just 100%, they were like, you're not gonna find anything, dad. Yeah, There's we... no AW figures here. So my kids are telling me to give up. They're saying, you're not gonna find anything, dad. This is hopeless. It's just a bunch of like baby toys and garbage. But all right, let me show you what we found. All right, it, it was a true mess in there. You get like a second chance on the way out, which is kind of cool when you go to, when you, get to, when you get in line, they just have like piles of stuff in the aisles. And that's where I found this little, uh, this little wood block that's got an Avengers cover on it. It was, it was literally a dollar. It's been marked down like a thousand times. So I grabbed that. That'll be fun. And then I found, I couldn't resist. I mean, you, you're gonna know I couldn't resist these guys. We got these little skull espresso mugs. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But okay, this is what you came here for. Did I find AW figures? And the answer is yes, they were there, they were hidden. So if you're gonna go to a Burlington Coat Factory, make sure you turn over every rock because they were literally underneath a rock and I found a Jake Hager. Now the cool thing about this is, is these guys are in there for six bucks, six dollars. So normally you gotta pay like 20 bucks to get these. Actually, I like the back of this better with uh, Jake Hager putting uh, arm bar on uh, Dustin Rhodes. That's actually really cool. Now, Jake Hager, that's, uh, you know what? It's okay, I didn't have them, that's fun. But this is what I really flipped out about and this was actually the first thing I saw and it drove me a little crazy because uh, I couldn't believe that I found not one, but two Thunder Rosas. But uh, yeah, two Thunder Rosas and a Jake Hager at Burlington Coat Factory. So yeah, if you're into AEW figures, uh, I would definitely recommend checking out Burlington Coat Factory.
It was crazy hot in that car, and both me and the girls were beat after that trip because the line experience at Burlington, it just went on way too long. Uh, we got super excited when we found those uh, those AEW figures at Burlington Coat Factory, but from there, you know, we just kind of spent too much time in the store. So it was really, uh, I wanted to put a better ending on this video, and I wanted to share this story as well. So yeah, we went to Berlin Coat Co Factory. It was like some kind of deranged scavenger hunt. There was like, you know, people trying to buy toys for their babies all over the place. And then me, you know, this big gorky dude trying to look through all these baby toys. And that's what I really had to do. I really had to like hunt through there. And it was like a desperation almost when I, when I found the figures because it was like the third time I'd been down that same aisle that they were in. And I just, like, I don't know what compelled me just to, like, just start tossing things aside. I'm like, well, it, there could be an AEW figure behind this, I guess. And then, lo and behold, there were three of them. In fact, uh, Jake Hager was lying down, so I didn't even see him until later. But, yeah, like, it really didn't look, it was not laid out in any sense. It had no, it was nonsense in there. Everything was all over the place, and it was ridiculous. I wanted to express that a little bit better than I did in the video. Really, I feel like we should have brought the camera in and like, let me know, is that what, should we try to bring the camera? I just don't want to get in trouble. I don't want people to freak out if I'm like filming in the toy, toy aisle. I don't know, man. I wish we would have had the footage because it was pretty wild in there. And I was really surprised to find stuff because honestly, like if you looked at it, you would just say that is a bunch of baby junk and there is no way AEW figures are in there, but there it was. So yeah, if you go to one, don't like give up instantly hunt around a little bit it's it's legitimately a toy hunt like they're in there all right to end the video because we do need to end this video i was having a conversation with some of my friends i was my producer my discord moderator right and my producer was telling me there is a limited edition or exclusive i don't want to say limited edition but exclusive adam cole that you can get at Target right now. And I said, oh, I know, I got him on order. And another guy says, hey, I work at Walmart. And I'm like, you know, okay, yeah, well, I, I'm looking for Walmart exclusives too. And I said, this would be the holy grail of Walmart exclusives, would be this, this right here. I, I haven't even seen this. I didn't even know this existed. I just looked up real quick, you know, like Walmart exclusives. I looked for, uh, I looked through them and I said, wow, they have like, not only have I been thinking about getting the Kenny Omega Supreme, but there's a Walmart exclusive of it. I, I actually like this one better. I don't really, the, the, the original, the, the non Walmart exclusive Kenny Omega Supreme doesn't quite resonate with me, but man, this one does. He's got the tights that he's wearing in Fight Forever. He's got the belt. I don't know. This one just really uh, got me excited. So I was like, yeah, man, this would be the holy grail of Walmart exclusives. This is hilarious. Not just, it was like five minutes later, he sends a picture. There's like three of them sitting on his shelf at like a good price. Like these things go for like a hundred dollars online and he's got them sitting on a shelf for 42. So man, extra bonus toy hunt. I told him like grab all three of them, dude. <laughs> this is madness. So yeah, this is going to be uh, sent to the studio. Thank you so much. I don't know if he wanted to be named or not. He can, he can throw him, he can throw himself down in the comments. He knows who he is and he knows he's a great dude. And, and thank you a lot for, uh, for throwing that out there and having a look and, and, and snagging these up. So a little extra bonus toy hunt on this video. And I uh, just wanted to throw that this proper ending on here too, because we just couldn't do it in the car guys. It was too hot. I didn't, didn't really pick up on video, but I was just drenched in sweat and I didn't want to turn the car on. Cause it would kind of like, you just hear all that car noise. I, I don't, I don't, I don't really know how it works. It was my first toy hunt video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Let me know if you've had any luck. Have you had any luck out there just finding AEW figures out in the wild? Have you found any rare ones to chase figures? And a lot of other cool videos on this channel. So make sure you check them out. And Grave Diggers, keep digging. Mm -hmm.